First class seats don't always mean you'll have a first class experience. Just ask Johnny and Victoria, who made light of their midair misery in this YouTube video. <laughs> well, no matter where you're seated, a screaming child can quickly turn any trip into a high flying nightmare. Or a screaming adult, for that matter. Mm -hmm. And with the holidays upon us, you can bet there will be more kids flying to friendly skies. So, CBS 2's Christy Fajardo has some advice from an expert to help keep the pint sized passengers a bit more quiet. Crying babies, kicking toddlers. With holiday travel around the corner, no one wants to be that parent. You know the one whose child is getting this reaction. I absolutely get nervous when I fly with my son. It's scary because I worry, is he going to have a tantrum at 35,000 feet? Travel expert Dave Fleming is known as the miles guy. And little Luca... <laughs> He was born to fly. Is a jet setting toddler with the stamps in his passport to prove it. That one's Berlin. That one's Heathrow Airport. Fleming says he's tested several tricks to stay insane on long flights. Bring out a new toy. They will be immersed in that new toy for quite some time. Legos, things that can keep them active, putting things together. British Airways actually did a study where they handed kids toys on a bunch of flights and they found that Lego type toys were the most effective in keeping their attention. Fleming recommends packing light and arriving early at the airport so you won't start the trip stressed out. Book flights on airlines that offer monitors on the backs of seats so the kids can watch movies. Pack a phone or tablet with games and ebooks. If you have small children, be sure the airline has changing tables. And if you're traveling with a baby on your lap, it never hurts to ask if the airline has a free seat. I've actually been on a flight to Puerto Rico once with my son, and we were able to put him in an empty seat next to us because no one was sitting there. We didn't have to pay any extra for it. If you have a seat kicker, take off his or her shoes so the child can't kick as hard. Also, if you're flying as a family, consider arranging for one parent to sit in the seat in front of the child so it's a family member who's getting kicked. Some experts also recommend red-eye flights. Fleming isn't necessarily one of them. I flew my son on a red-eye flight thinking, okay, this will be perfect. He'll sleep. It'll be beautiful. It didn't work out that way. He suggests taking a cue from a woman on a friend's trip whose gesture even made it onto Facebook. She explained it's our baby's first flight and handed passengers around her this goodie bag with earplugs and candy. I thought that was a great way to break the ice. I actually want to steal that little trick and do it myself. <laughs> and if you still get mean glares, and if your kid winds up on YouTube, just remember the person behind the camera was once a child who annoyed strangers too. Parents should never be afraid of flying with their children because, hey, we want to see things. They want to see things. He likes planes more. Christy Fajardo, CBS 2 News. Well, a couple of other tips we found online. One mother suggests wrapping a gift for your baby to play with. Another says make a wallet or a fake set of keys so your child thinks they're playing with yours.